Uh, so if I may have a little effect on the microphone and a bit of wind from you, a wolf howl or two, and some thunder. Before the beginning, there was this turtle. And the turtle was alone. And he looked around and he saw his neighbor, which was his mother. And he lay down on top of his neighbor, and behold, she bore him in tears. An oak tree, which grew all day, and then fell over like a bridge. And lo, under the bridge there came a catfish, and he was very big, and he was walking, and he was the biggest he had seen. And so were the fiery balls of this fish, one of which is the sun, and the other they call the moon. Yes, some uncomplicated peoples still believe this myth. <laughs> but uh, here, in the technical vastness of the future, well, we can guess that uh, surely the past was very different. We can surmise, for instance, uh, that these, these two great balls, we know for certain, for instance, is that for some reason, for some time in the beginning, there were hot lumps, cold and lonely, they whirled noiselessly through the black holes of space. These insignificant lumps came together to form the first union. Our sun, the heating system. And about this glowing gas bag rotated the earth. A cat's eye among Aggies, blinking in astonishment across the face of time. Uh, well, we were, um, we were covered with a molten uh, scum of rocks uh, 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 bobbing on the surface like, uh, like rats. And uh, later, when there was less heat, well, uh, these giant rock groups um, they settled down among the land masses. And uh, during this extinct time, our Earth was like a steam room, and, um, and no one, not even man, could get in. Um, <laughs> However, the oceans and the sewers were simmering with a rich protein stew, and the mountains moved in to uh, surround and, and protect them. And they didn't know then that living, as, as we knew it, was already uh, taken over. Animals without backbones hid from each other or fell down. Clamosaurs and oysterettes appeared as appetizers, and then came the sponges, which sucked up about 10% uh, of all life. <laughs> Hundreds of years later, in the late devouring period, fish became obnoxious. Uh, <laughs> trailer bikes, chigabites, and mosquitoes collided aimlessly in the dense gas. Uh, finally, tiny edible plants sprang up in rows, giving birth to generations of insecticides and other small dying creatures. Thank you. Millions of months passed, and 28 days later the moon appeared. This small change was reflected best perhaps in the sand dollar, which shrank to almost nothing at the bottom of the pool, where even dumb amphibians like catfish laid their eggs in the boiling waters, only to be gobbled up every three minutes by the giant sea orphans, which scared everybody. And so, in fear and hot water, man was born. The story of the invention of the universe, according to the Firesign Theater, a piece of work, I think. <laughs>